What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and today Apple released iOS 8.1 Beta 1 to developers. Now we knew it was coming, we just didn't know it would be here so soon. And in this video, I'm going to show you what's changed, what's new, and just give you general impressions on iOS 8.1. Now, between 8.1 Beta 1 and iOS 8.0.2, you really wouldn't notice anything. There's no difference just by looking at it. It's all in these little tiny tweaks here and there. And between stabilization and performance, I'm going to take a look at that after. But for now, let's go ahead and see feature-wise what's changed. First and foremost, the book icon has changed. I mean, <laughs> besides that, you're not going to be able to see anything on the home screen. Just a little tiny book icon to match in Safari, your bookmarks tab right there. In settings, if we go into general and then keyboard settings, you guys can see that there is now an option to disable dictation on your keyboard just down here. Pretty much when you have your keyboard up, just doesn't have that icon for dictation anymore. If it bothers you, you can remove it using the setting right here. Now I know most of you guys will love this one and Apple has actually listened to people. Wow, I mean, they listen to people and they brought back camera roll. So before where you see recently added, there's now camera roll. So that's welcome change back to iOS 8. I really didn't like Apple removing that in the first place. I mean, why the heck would they even touch something that wasn't broken? Also, settings have been tweaked for third-party applications. There's gonna be more settings for privacy and notifications in there. And if we go into notifications, and actually widgets are down here. The icons are just a little bit bigger if you'll notice. So just little tiny things here and there. And if you guys didn't know, iOS 8.0.2 cost Apple so much money because stocks just plummeted after they failed with that release. And I was really surprised about that. But anyways, guys, I actually ran a Geekbench and I found that there's literally no difference in terms of performance. It feels exactly the same, even the beta. But maybe when the actual firmware comes out, it will be a lot better. Anyways, guys, that's iOS 8.1 beta 1 for you. For now, there's not too much that's changed, but with every beta, you know, we'll see more differences and I'll sure to keep you guys updated. And if you do want to install it and run it yourself, I'll be showing you how to do that today as well. Anyways, thanks for watching this video, guys. Have a great day. Peace.